Billionaires have everything they could ever want and more. One could only imagine what they end up trashing. I mean, seriously, what does a guy like Elon Musk end up throwing away? Rocket fragments? Diamonds? Proof of aliens? Well, today I'm gonna be finding out by searching billionaires' trash cans in hopes of ultimately profiting off their trash. And so I woke up the very next day at three in the morning. Let's go search some trash cans. I was insanely tired. Oh. For whatever reason, I thought this transition would look cool. I met up with my partner in crime, Owen. Holy, you scared me. And after a short drive, we arrived to our first neighborhood. We're here at our first neighborhood. Before we do the billionaires, we have to work our way up. So right now we're in a neighborhood called Dover Shores and the average home price is around $3 million. As a side note, we're gonna be hitting three different neighborhoods in this video and each one's gonna get more expensive as the video goes on. Owen, oh, do you wanna explain why it's 4 a.m. right now? So yeah, essentially the trash truck is gonna come at around 8.30 in the morning. In order to get before the trash truck, we have to be here at 4 a.m. and we're gonna try to hit as much trash cans as we can. Let's go. All right, let's do it. We got our first batch of trash cans right here. What do we have here? Cardboard box, another cardboard box, another cardboard box. Ooh, first find of the day? No way, dude. This thing's kinda nice, actually. Some sort of briefcase. Got another one too, dude. Dude, these things are legit. At the end of this video, we're gonna bring all these things to a pawn shop. We're gonna see if we can actually profit from this. What do we got? Uh, the ones with the food are just like, uh. Okay, we can't, we can't be this loud. I continued to search for around 30 minutes and didn't find too much, but then I hit the jackpot. No way, bro. You're fully sealed. I'm about to blow your mind, are you ready? Tie-dye popper. These ones are filled. No way! Inflatable bunny rabbit. I can buy this inflatable bunny rabbit in the corner of my room. I'm using the fidget spinner. That's a world I want to live in. A tent. Four in camp, four tent. What is this? Art flag of a crab that says summer. I'm keeping that, dude. I continued my search for another 30 minutes, and then I spotted something in the distance. <laughs> oh my god. I just found something crazy. I'm so excited. Oh! What? What? That's a flat screen TV. Dude, imagine when we get to the last neighborhood, we might come out rich, bro. Who just throws away a flat screen TV, dude? Sorry, did we wake you up? No, no, I'll wake up. You can take that if you want. Sweet, thanks so much, man. <laughs> it's cold, baby. Flat screen TV. <laughs> they said we couldn't. Bruh. <laughs> I dropped the TV. <laughs> oh, let's just move on. Next can. Oh my god! No way! I'll we'll never believe what's in here. <laughs> I should go in the video. Then we searched until the sun came up, literally, and then we didn't find anything else. That was neighborhood number one. Found some pretty cool items. I searched probably 150 trash cans this morning. We got some insane neighborhoods coming up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. And so I met up with Owen the next day, this time at 8 p.m. After a 20 minute drive, we arrived at our second neighborhood. All right, we just made it to our second neighborhood. This place is called Shady Canyon, and the average home price here is around $10 million. A lot of supercars, a <laughs> lot of big houses. Should be really interesting to see what these people throw away. And so we hopped out the car and immediately got to searching. Already on our first can, we came across some absolute gems. Found this epic looking dog plush that I was incredibly excited about, as you can see. And not only that, but I found a Paw Patrol plush toy, which I was even more excited about. And with all this newfound excitement, we decided to hit some more bits. That's a coyote. Let's go. Okay. Easy spirit slip-ons. Uh, we're keeping these for sure. And then after that, we hit just a massive dry spell. We searched for like an hour and didn't find too much except for this. We got these. Calvin Klein pajama pants. We got the matching set. Every single night, I'm gonna wear this. And then we continued searching and came across just a crazy no. find. Oh, microwave. Microwave and a chair. Actually, this chair is nice. I think that's our most valuable find yet. But little did I know, I was about to hit the dry spell of a lifetime. For the next hour and a half, we found literally nothing. <laughs> Rummaging through trash cans at 2 in the morning is not fun when you're not finding anything, but luckily, I came up on a can that changed everything. Yo! Xbox controller. Ooh. Yo, little anime figurine. I'll take it. Some sort of dress. Oh, this thing's 3D printed. 3D printed ray gun. Sick. Yo! Space Morty. Hey, we got Rick, too. Yo! 
This thing's sick. Dude, it's a monkey with dynamite strapped to his back. That's so sick. This guy's sick. This is a go-karting trophy. Dude, that's dope. These are Dior shoelaces. So we can officially say we found a piece of designer clothes. It might not be the flashiest thing ever, but it is a designer. That's all that matters. After that absolute beast of a trash can, we packed everything up. And the very next day, we met up at 9 p.m. Then we took a nice two-hour drive to LA and pulled up to our very last neighborhood. We just arrived at the last neighborhood and the most insane neighborhood yet. This neighborhood is called Bel Air. Homes here can cost tens of millions of dollars. And the most expensive home here is valued at $250 million. Bruh. Some people that you might know that live here are Kanye, Jennifer Aniston, Elon Musk, Mr. Beast, I made the last one up. The security here is crazy. Speaking of security, let the games begin. And so with that in mind, we decided to remove the bright yellow vests and get to searching. We're coming up on our first set of bins right here. Insane, look at that. If that's not billionaire, I don't know what is. Let's see what they have in their trash cans though. Holy, hey guys, if you want to be a billionaire, buy a couple of these things. Don't, don't do that. I think we just woke him up. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, whole box of Krispy Kreme. Unopened drink, got a Target bag. Let's see what's inside. Brand new, unused pot. That's pretty good. What do we have here? Flashlight. Flashlight's actually sick. Another Target bag. Ton of uneaten food. Who throws away perfectly good food? We got mac and cheese, bread. And then after this can, we kept searching for another hour and a half. I'm not kidding. We roamed the streets of LA at night till about two in the morning. I was exhausted and we just were finding nothing. A lot of nothing. Nevertheless, we kept on searching and eventually we came across a can that actually had something in it. Ooh, this is kind of sick. Yellowstone National Park keychain. Nice. Let's see what else we got in here. Unused dental floss. Knit waxed dental floss not bad remember earlier when i said we hit that a uh, dry spell of a lifetime well i lied because this one was about 10 times worse i don't think i've ever been more exhausted and just sick of doing one thing ever so we searched until four in the morning and then we <laughs> and then we decided before calling it quits there was one more spot we had to hit we're coming up on the most expensive house maybe in the world i don't know uh what could possibly be in these trash cans <laughs> All right, let's go. But just as we were getting out of the car. That was security. We gotta go quick. Ready? Let's get like two minutes to see what I say we just go for it. Ready? Here we go. What is that? A silver bird, so that's sick. Okay, so I looked up this bird on the internet and I found out that this thing can be anywhere from 5,000 <laughs> To fifty dollars, and we're gonna find out because we're taking everything to the pawn shop. This is where we're gonna see if we can sell any of these items and hopefully get rich. Let's see if uh, let's see if this whole thing was worth it. Whoa, this place is awesome. We're gonna be rich. What kind of food, gentlemen? Uh, I just wanted to sell a bunch of stuff today. We put in a lot of work to get this stuff, and uh, I was hoping I could make some money today. Gentlemen, I think we got a, we struck out today, man. Yeah, thanks so much. <sighs> yep, I left that pawn shop feeling like a loser. I put so much time and effort into this whole thing and just to get nothing out of it. But you know what? The more I think about it, the more I realize maybe it wasn't about finding the most expensive items or even getting rich. Because as the old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Is that good? Yeah. Cool. Um, let's just throw all this away. Everybody was kung fu fighting.